Hey everyone, it's Mary Ann at Akashic Inspirations and today is Friday, December 7th, 2012. Um, first thing I can think of, of course, it's Pearl Harbor Day. Um, and for all of those who lost family members or had grandparents or um, that grandfathers that were lost there, we always, you know, think of them and what the changes in the world have been since then. Uh, today was kind, kind of a strange morning. I've been trying to do my video on my blog all day long since 9 a.m. But I was caught up in a little issue that I thought would take about oh, 10 minutes to resolve and ended up spending five hours uh, back and forth with the phone company. And um, I, you know, I have to laugh about it because I, I in the transcourse of the day, I've learned a lot of lessons about myself, and I've learned that I've changed my perception. Um, Any time in the, the past, I would right now be fuming with steam coming out of my ears, really upset that I had lost, like, all this time doing, like, nothing. But today is not that is not the case and I have to laugh because I think it was truly a lesson in patience and um, I have not been in the past the most patient person but I'm learning that patience is also a matter of perceptions and um, so today I'm gonna do a reading from I'm using three decks actually I'm gonna use the ascended masters uh, by um, Doreen Virtue, then I'm going to use the uh, Magical Messages of the Fairies because I wanted something light and I wanted and I used uh, the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms for the Hidden Elements and um, today the Master that came out for us, I'll put the, the cards down, oh by the way I forgot all about it, I'm going back, it's actually day going to be day six of my giveaway and uh, today's giveaway is a little bit different. I'm not giving a set of cards today. What I'm actually giving today is a three card, one question reading to one of my subscribers. So I'll announce that at the end. Now let's go down to the cards because they're really interesting and I've seen a couple people pull these cards today. Um, as a matter of fact, um, so the, the, the Ascended Master who's with us today is El Moira and it's clear and shield your energy and it just reminds me that I, you know, well, many of us as light workers, we really work with a lot of people and a lot of energies on a day to day basis and as a matter of fact, somebody uh, told me yesterday that I needed to clear my home, um, clean it and, uh, you know, just pray over it, sage it. And um, so that's what I'm going to be doing this weekend. I'm going to really clean my home. When I do that, I usually pray in each room and, you know, just clear out any negative energies that could be lingering. So basically, this is what El Moira is coming in uh, to do, that you can work with El Moira and Archangel Michael to clear yourself, to elevate your space, to clear your home, your office, your car, wherever you spend your time. Um, and that you can call upon him to help shield you working with crystals. And I have always been fascinated by his wand. And um, it reminds me like of, you know, the fairy godmother's wand of transformation, basically. And I think what it does is that it transforms and transmutes the negative energies into positive and creates a beautiful shield of light to protect us. So... And we've got El Moira here in the house with us. I'm sorry, I can't I can't show it to you too well. But uh, the first card, I'm, it's kind of odd the way I had to place it out uh, so you could see everything. But the first card that came out for me is Spiritual Teacher. And um, today I saw something in my yard that I have never seen. And believe me, I've I've you know lived in this home. I grew up in this home. And the first thing I saw. Even those, these are little bunnies down here, and they're like, you know, surrounding her and this beautiful fairy. Um, I saw a little squirrel today in my yard. And we, there's not, I mean, there's squirrels in Miami, but I've never seen one in my yard, ever. And I just thought that that was a little message to me. Um, to 
to be careful of my actions, not to do things, not to be so hoarding, because, you know, like, they like to hoard their nuts, and they like to, um, you know, hoard things, so to, you know, continue this process of the letting go of things, and um, in, in as far as being a spiritual teacher, I know that um, any teacher knows that you learn as much as that, as that which you teach, so, you know, I know that the Hierophant is my calling and is what many of us here are called to do. The next card that came out is holiday. And of course, Christmas and all the holidays are coming. It says the answer you're looking for can be found during a vacation, retreat, or holiday uh, getaway. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, Harp Angels came out with uh, travel today as well. And I know in another reading I saw, I know I pulled this card the other day. So here it is again, giving us this message. We're, you're going to get something really big on your travels this holiday. And if you are not traveling, it can be an interior journey. This interior journey that we are all on right now. And I believe it's going to lead you to the emotional healing. This is such a lovely card from the fairies. She's got that beautiful green emerald heart chakra. All of her chakras are just, just so spectacular. The flowers, the blue throat chakra. And as she has this tree coming from her crown chakra, the tree of knowledge, um, you know, how to really... Um, the card says, as your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings and love. So as we release those old energies, we're going to be making room for that new loving environment and energy. And I mean, this is why I really think a lot of you, it's going to be for your travel, for a physical, physical trip. Um, an upcoming pro trip proves to be life-changing in positive ways. This should have been actually read like this, all four cards, but I just didn't have space for it. So it's really, we've got the holiday, the emotional healing, and the travel. So for those of you, I, I love that she lights the tips of the antlers and that they illuminate the journey of the stag. So it's like there's, wherever there's darkness, you're going to be traveling with light. So I think that's a beautiful message. Then I wanted to know what were some of the hidden elements that we may not be aware of, and um, actually the actually I got these reversed. Sorry, the, actually the first card that came out was the Camel Boy, and this is kind of talking about um, taking small steps and asking for help. And it says um, maybe you're moving, so maybe some of you may be moving even during this time, and. Um, uh, you know, so you, you want to have some friends give you a hand or you just want information about somebody and somebody comes from somewhere else to to uh, give you some information. That synchronistic, synchronistic events are into play and um, it helps lighten your load. People will come and give you a, a hand to help you along in, in the small ways. And then our last card for today is called the Map Maker of Destiny. And here he's like writing in his book. He's got a fairy down here on her little books. And I just think, of course, of the Akashic Records, the map maker of destiny. That's what it's all about. And it's talking about the authentic purpose, um, be a free will, free will, making the choices. That's a really big thing. They talk about how to transform fate into destiny, that we are fated maybe to do and have certain lessons in our life, but that how we choose to perceive it, how we choose to react to these um, events, that is destiny. Because you can choose, if I had chosen this morning to be like so PO'd and so horribly angry about everything, I would have totally missed seeing my little squirrel today. I would have missed seeing the the two turtle doves that I had sitting in my tree. I would have missed uh, seeing the synchronicity of the girl who actually helped me at the end and really, and she lowered my raid and she just gave me a, you know, was so helpful, so kind, and her name was Hope. So that's why my blog says, thank you, Hope. And she was just a darling and she really, really made my day.
after all that long wait. So it's like, okay, you've been through all this, but look at all the things that you really, even though they were small steps, but they really helped you to bring your day about to make you happy. And um, so I guess as we review, we are all uh, in some ways spiritual teachers. And whether you're at this point teaching or learning from each other, um, you know, that is uh, uh, a, a big part of what we're going through now. And that uh, ho this holiday season is going to really bring about a lot of emotional healing on many different levels for us, as well as an actual perhaps a physical trip. I know many of you are traveling. I've got when I pulled this card the last time when I pulled holiday, everybody was like, Oh, I'm going here, I'm going there. So I wish you uh, you know, wonderful journeys and be open to receiving this emotional healing that will be coming about uh for us. And um okay, so now I'm going to just go and I'm going to do this a little bit different way as to um, choosing a subscriber to um, to win. I believe that today I'm going to give it to, ding, 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 ding. you know who I think I need, needs one? Um, I believe Kiera. 843 that you can be my winner today. So congratulations, Kiera. Um, I look forward to doing your one question, three card reading for you. Just go ahead. I know you always watch, so go ahead and just uh, send me an inbox with the question that you would like me to address. And then that way I can maybe get it posted uh, for tomorrow sometime. And, um, you know, guys, just have a little patience. It's the holidays. Take it easy. And, you know, just be be in your space. Um, just don't sweat the small stuff. It just doesn't really matter in the scheme of things. And if you do see it as, you know, maybe something for you to learn, um, you know, just take a couple of deep breaths. So I wish you many blessings today. I send you light and love. Namaste.